Yeah, I think so too. I think we played right with them. In each game, we had them pretty close, so I think we just, I don't know what it was, but we either let up or we just gave up, lost something towards the end of the second and third game, but we were ahead in the end and we let them catch up and pull ahead. That's a talented team. We were talking about it. You guys have had a nice record so far, but maybe outside of Roger Williams, have you played a team as a caliber? Uh, or maybe Wellesley? Yeah, Wellesley. When we played at the, the Brandeis Invitational, Wellesley was probably as close to this kind of competition as we're going to get. But, I mean, playing good teams only makes you better, so playing Wellesley and playing Trinity is only going to prepare us better for UMass Boston on Saturday. So. We wanted to talk a little bit about, okay, you lost this one 3 to 0. We wanted to talk a little bit about the season. We've got four seniors, got a new head coach. Talking to some of the kids the other day, it seems like you guys are out there having fun this year. Yeah, I could agree with that. Um, I think it's because Coach has been with us. He's not just like another new coach. I mean, he's been our assistant coach for the past three years, so it wasn't like he was, he was thrown into a brand new program. Mm -hmm. He knew what he had or what he has in the program, so there wasn't a lot of experimentation with like rotations and stuff. It's more or less, we already know what he wanted from us, and now we just have to come out and play. So. Was the preseason issue much different? And you've had preseason with two other coaches. Is, was it similar? Uh, yeah, the structure and like the drills and stuff were similar. It was kind of different because the hurricane had us miss out on the last three days, so it was cut short. But other than that, it was pretty basic. You know, this is a veteran team. I mean, granted, you have a few different coaches, but it's a veteran team. Was, is this team able to be very emotionally very stable? Because you've got people that have been here. Yeah, I can say that in the past we probably haven't been because we were a little young. But uh, this year, that's probably one of our strengths is that we're able to stay emotionally stable. Like, keep, like, to normally last year and the years before, if we were down 23, 24, we wouldn't keep swinging at the ball. We would have given up with tips, rolls, anything that can just put the ball over on their side and then make more work for ourselves on defense. But mm -hmm. now I think because we are mentally stable, we have confidence in ourselves that if we hit a ball in the net on 23, 24, we're going to go and go after the next one, hit the ball just as hard. You guys were ranked fairly well in the women's conference, uh, preseason play. Uh, a any goals in terms of the conference? I know Pete talked about getting back at least to the playoffs as a starter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we want to get back into the LAC tournament. Not making it last year was probably one of the biggest disappointments that this program has seen in a long time. Um, but I think that right now we're headed in the, uh, right, like, the right direction, and Saturday is the first step. Uh, last question. You talk about Saturday, UMass Boston, and they're bringing in players. Half of the roster is from California. Uh, there's probably not a lot of teams in this conference that are going to give them a, cha a challenge, obviously. But after that, you got Keen. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys can play with Keen, yes? Mm -hmm. I think so. We've been playing with Keen for the past couple of years. I mean, last year we kind of had a meltdown, but again, that was the young, like, no mental toughness attitude that happened. But I think this year we'll be able to um, play with them. Great, Taylor. Thank you. Congratulations. Great game. Thanks. Thank you very much.